the Isle of Masks. A hidden island in the distant parts of the ocean is a home to many talented warriors. Traditions demanded that its inhabitants wear the masks from the moment they were born, for reasons unknown to us. It seemed that this island wore its own kind of mask, as it was completely invisible to other races. And those small details that we do know come from its sole survivor, Unero, for he is now the last member of his clan. Nero was just a young warrior. Lords of the island held a special tournament. Warriors from all parts of the land would travel to the arena to be forever immortalized in the eyes of their people. Nero practiced without pause to prove his strength when the day came. Once his mother's illness suddenly worsened, Nero decided to break the ancient rules and join the tournament. Wielding the sword that his father had given him, along with the words to take care of his mother, his sword, and then of himself, Unero had no other choice but to fight if he was to save his dying mother. He fought the countless opponents with ease, with only one thought on his mind. Unero quickly stormed through the rest of the tournament, and found himself facing the acting champion. The battle was scarce, as for hours they tried to find weaknesses in each other's defenses. But the slim moment had finally come, where Unero's opponent lowered his guard to change his style. He quickly cast his sword deep into his opponent's right shoulder. The crowd went wild, for this was the moment of the Juggernaut's victory. Juggernaut was to be rewarded for his performance, but was first asked to remove his mask. This was something he did not expect, but he had no other choice. Upon removal, the true face was recognized. The Lords could not hide their disappointment, for young warriors were not allowed to join the tournament. In fear from being punished by the gods, they decided to exile their champion. However, Juggernaut told them the story about his sick mother lying in her bed, and the gods granted him a wish that his tournament performance had pleased them. He traveled for weeks across the sea, with only a fraction of hope left but his thoughts were at ease. He saved his mother and honored his father's last wish. The moment of giving up was upon him, but the pale horizon revealed the gift of life. He had found the last bits of strength to fight through his last battle. As soon as his boat had hit the sand, Juggernaut had lost consciousness. The days had passed until he finally woke up. He found himself in someone's bed. Confused and scared, he immediately jumped out of it and went outside, only to find dozens of friendly faces staring at him and smiling. Then, a day of great sadness came. Juggernaut was relaxing at his usual place, from which he had a clear view across the sea. 
the mental connection with his mother was still strong. And after all these years, he knew that she was still alive. But the smile from his face quickly vanished after noticing the unnatural storm that had risen from the sea. The skies had turned dark. The panic struck his body as he watched the thunders wrecking in the distance. A moment later, he lost the connection with his mother. He fell to the ground and stayed there for days, until his friends had finally found him. He did not say a word to them. He simply left. For a hero who has lost everything twice over, he now fights as if victory is a foregone conclusion. By the visage of vengeance which drowned in the Isle of Masks, I will carry on the rights of the Faceless Ones.